Our next speaker is Bob Terry. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. You know, the best, best thing about being head of lame Terry is you're last. So you save the best for last, right? I believe that. I believe I am the best, best candidate for District 4 for lots of reasons. One is I believe in the accomplishments I've already had in our county, and I'm not making promises to you. I have accomplishments to stand on. You know, jobs are a very important part of our county. I've created a lot of jobs in our county, historically as well as currently, even though, even though we have slid in, our, in my own business considerably, where we had 250 people employed, now we're down to 81 people. I certainly don't like that. But that's a matter of economics of the country, not a matter of economics of what my current business is here in Washington County. Even though all the dollars and, and money that, that I generate come here to Washington County, the millions of dollars that we ship out of the state come back here to Washington County, that's new money. Those are jobs that, that I've been able to create for this county in a business that was, was not a business when I took it over. Other companies that I've had in this county is, is the fact that I created, was one of the, was the first chair and organizer of, of an organization called ROMAC. ROMAC is our Rural Roads Operations and Maintenance Control. We remember when they were grinding up the roads and, and uh, grinding up our rural roads and putting down gravel rather than having those roads paved? I was the guy who organized the, the group that is now known as Rural Mac and is still in existence today to maintain, help maintain, and make certainly our, our rural roads are maintained. In addition, in addition to that, I was one of the very first on the Citizens Advisory Committee for Clean Water Services. At th that time, it was called United Storage Agency. And Clean Water Services today is recognized all over the entire United States and even in foreign countries as being one of the most organized, well-run sewage agencies in the country. And they're not a sewage agency, they're a sewage agency, because almost everything they use or comes through their system is reused back in, in, our, in our county or in our state. That says a lot. And it's because of the, the involvement that I've had with those things over the years, those have been made possible. In addition to that, I, I was instrumental in creating a, 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 a child's place. I think Congresswoman Furs would help, uh, remember helping me uh, get a child's place started at one point. And a child's place takes care of 82 kids a day today. And they, they treat, feed them breakfasts, they feed them lunch, and it's all about education. It's not child care. It's called a child's place. It's about education. We prepare these kids for schools for before they go to school so they can certainly be speak English as to whatever their, their own native langu language may be. We prepare them for English and prepare them to get them into the schools. We've become so good that the Hillsborough School District actually works with us on our curriculum today. So we have 82 kids, we start at 6 in the morning, go to 6 at night, and we take care of them every day. Again, I mind you, it's education. We do that with no tax dollars. We do that with United, United uh, Fund funds. We do that with grants that we apply for and gain. And we do ask for the parents to pay for some portion of it because we don't feel that they should have a completely free ride. And in, in addition to those accomplishments, my, not, not only in my own business do we really practice environmental practices, we are envi environmental. We are the, there are only four nurseries in the United States that's, that's uh, recognized as, as being certified by USDA, and we are one of those nurseries. In addition, to, in addition to that, we recycle everything that comes onto our farm, everything. We have one three-yard container that's emptied twice a month, and that three-yard container never leaves full, and it's used primarily for our employees' food waste and things that come out of the, out of the lunchroom. Everything else is recycled and reused right on the farm. Our water is 100% recycled, and we clean it without any chemicals and reuse it right on the farm. Those are accomplishments, and these are the kind of things I intend to continue to work for in this county that, as I have in the past. In addition, in addition to that, we have not had a tax increase in this county in, in 10 years in your general fund levy uh, tax. I've been on the county budget committee for 10 years and worked very hard in my part of it to make sure we did not have a a tax increase, but that we had a balanced budget, and this is one of the few counties in the state that has a surplus. Most counties, including Multnomah County and all the other counties around us, they will start borrowing money in June and borrow until November, December when the tax bills go out and we start paying our taxes, then they'll retire those loans. We don't do that in Washington County. We borrow no money, we invest our money, and we earn income for you, our taxpayers. I want to continue that. I want to see that, that trend continue. When it comes to growth, I certainly like growth, but I think it has to be done in, in the right way in that we infill first and then we, then we expand from there. And then think about this year, this building right here. Fifty years ago, this building would not have been here. It came from growth. 
It's going to happen. I have eight grandkids. They want a place to live, and they want a place to work, and I want to make certain that they can. Thank you very much. I ask you for your support, and I ask you for your vote. There are signs out front, and, and other information from me out front that you're welcome to pick up. Thank you very much.